in the making. Instead, it's a deliberate test flight to prevent disaster. The tail of this Boeing 757 is dragged down the entire length of a runway. Frightening as it looks, it's but one of a series of punishing torture tests that today's new generation jets go through in order to make flying safe, 100% safe. We've come to the Boeing plant in Seattle to get an idea of what goes into the making of these incredible flying machines, to see how they're assembled and witness the pounding they take before they ever get a license to fly. It starts here inside these vast 11-story high hangars. Putting one of these monsters together is an enormous responsibility. Thousands of people assembling millions of parts, hopefully putting them all in the right place. They're literally built by hand, piece by piece. Everything must fit exactly in place. They're so high-tech, nothing must go wrong. What starts out as a massive metal ends up a shiny new airliner. In this case, the latest of the Boeing jets, the super sophisticated 747-400 model jumbo that went into service for the first time this week. Boeing's biggest yet, it has come under intense scrutiny from America's Federal Aviation Administration, concerned about flaws found lately in Boeing planes. Testing of these giants will astound you, as you'll see now from film obtained by 10 News. The jumbo is repeatedly slammed down hard on the runway. This is for structural and landing gear strength. Brakes are checked, and checked again. Here, in what's called a refused takeoff, the brakes are slammed on at high speed, just as the wheels are about to leave the ground. Imagine trying to stop a herd of 4,500 charging elephants. That's how much one of these jumbos weighs. Brakes flow red hot as the pilots quickly bring it to a halt. They sometimes catch fire, so intense is the heat. Firemen stand by, ready to hose down. Its aerodynamics and in-flight systems are also critically examined. They are run through walls of water to see if they slew off the slippery strip. Wings are pushed way beyond their limits. In this test, they're bent as far as they can go. Up. And up. And up. Till finally... But all these rigorous tests just don't seem to have been enough. Planes have been coming apart, like the Aloha Airline 737 over Hawaii last year, which lost much of its fuselage. In December, an Eastern Airline 727's panel was ripped off in flight, leaving a gaping hole in the roof. But the British Midlands disaster in the UK last month was different. The 737 was brand new. Faulty wiring in the engines is blamed and miswiring turned up in new 737s of Ansett and Australian Airlines.